Hey, my love, this is your girl Tara, Tara Love Diva, and welcome with Tara's Kitchen. Welcome to Tara's Kitchen, and today is Tuesday, and I'm doing a in the kitchen gadget haul because you know when I moved in last month I didn't have too much of anything. Um, excuse the way I look because it's early in the morning, and um. <laughs> It's early in the morning. Um, why do I look short? I should put on some heels. But anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, I didn't have any gadgets to cook with, like the utensils, like the spoons, the spatulas, the whatever you people call those things. I didn't have a mixer. I didn't have bowls. I didn't have a strainer. I didn't have a lot of things. So. With that being said, let's get started. And thanks to Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. I hope you can see the bag, but it says Walmart. So let's get into this little short haul. Okay, okay, okay. Um, maybe I think I need some more light. That might do it. Hopefully. So let's get into this little haul. Um. Like I said, I had to get things to cook with. I didn't have anything to flip pancakes, so I haven't cooked pancakes in a minute um, since I moved here. So, I got this little set here. It is Can we get my glasses? Okay. Your girl can't see. Bam! I have glasses. I have an eight piece utensil set and it comes with woo, one you know I hate small words but let me show you a new trick how I used to do it with my, my eyes even with glasses on I still can't see small words but let me show you a little trick here for anyone that can't see any little words you take your phone camera You got to put it on. You take that. You take a picture of the items that's small that you can't see. Then you just blow it up. <laughs> okay, you have one slotted spoon. You have a basting spoon, a sliding turner, a solid turner, one ladle, one pasta server, one strainer, one spoon rest, total of eight pieces. So, let's open this up and see what it what they entails. I'm hoping my lighting is good. Whoop. But it's too late to stop and um how you get this off. Okay. We'll figure that out in a minute, but these knives here, I love them. I did a video on these knives. I'm going to put the link down below. Okay. Okay. Now let's break this thing open. Oh, that was easy. I thought it was going to be one of those hard things. So this is one of those resting things that you rest your spoons on, on the stove. Then you have what you call these spoons. So, we're not going to even do all that because, you know, she girl don't really know the names of spoons just by looking at it. But anyway, these are all the spoon sets that I, the, the eight piece, whoa, get it together, girl. This is the eight piece set of utensils. They're kind of sturdy, though. Kind of sturdy plastic. Then I got a four piece spoon set dishwash safe. Boy, they really make things you can't get into. Okay, there we go. It's four different sizes of spoons. That you stir and cook with. 
I usually see a lot of people with the wooden ones, but I think these are cute. These are cute. I like these too. Then your girl got her a hand mixer until somebody sponsors a KitchenAid with the bowl. I love to bake. Um, but right now, bougie on a budget. Hello. Even though this video was sponsored. Um, this is a hand mixer. It's a mainstream. Why did I take my glasses off? Who knows? But it's a mainstream five speed five speed setting easy cleanup one touch ejection button and dishwasher safe beaters ideal for mixing beating blending and whipping so let's open this up and see it's kind of hot in here a lot of people ask me how can i work with my nails I've been having nails for like all my life. Like seriously, all my life. Um, let's take this mixer out. They had the black one. But well, once again, bougie on the budget. So this is the mixer. It's cute. It has a thing when you put it down, it rests on. This is where you put the mix things here into here and it's a five speed and then the thing that releases the blending thing so so that's what this is it goes in here and you mix stuff and you cook things I mean you bake blend what it is. Now, I also went to the Dollar Tree. Because once again, I'm bougie on the budget. But this is a mixing bowl for when I'm mixing batter. This is a strainer. You know, when you put your pasta in and you strain it so the water can come out. <laughs> I'm sure you people know what a strainer is. <laughs> and I also have, you know, um, a handheld cheese grater. Oh, you can put it over something and then... Mm. Oh, you also can put it on top of a bowl or something and do it. Because it got the little rigid so put your hold on to. Come on here and you grade. Anyway, Dollar Tree. Then I also got a whisk. From the Dollar Tree. Yes. So that really all. That's all I got from. For utensils so far. Because I still have to get other things. Like a timer. Because now I have a regular oven. So yeah. I got to get a timer. And stuff like that. So that like I said. That concludes. My. Utensil haul. So if you have any questions or you have any suggestions, and I really got to figure out how to set this camera up because that couch right here is in my way. That's my living room. Y'all standing in my living room. So watch me cook. No. Mm. So with that being said, I'm babbling. And this shit better be still recording. Oh yeah, it's still got a red dot. So I'm going to let you all go. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching my little mini haul from for utensils in the kitchen utensils. Now let's get me a thumbnail, shall we? done.